on today's episode of why do we work where it's cold and rainy we're going to be changing a propane regulator so we're going to take you along with it pretty straightforward repair or changeover um, but remember anytime we open a propane system we're legally required to do a leak drop down test so if you're doing your own propane work we completely recommend doing that as well um, you got to be safe out there folks when it comes to propane but this job is pretty straightforward, but we're gonna take you along and we're gonna show you how to do it. Okay, so we've taken the regulator off and one of the issues was it was leaking. So what we found is that the sealant is not very good on this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a stiff nylon bristle brush and we're going to clean all of these threads around. And then we'll use a thread sealant. Um, sometimes when you buy these, they give you the gas tape. We prefer to use the sealant. We feel it makes a better bond and that tape can bail at times. Uh, in our experience, so we always use a good th uh, gas pipe thread sealant. And you can find this at Home Depot, Lowe's, Amazon, wherever you buy your sealant from. So let's get started and we'll clean this up. So when we're doing this, we want to get all the gunk out of the threads because if we don't, what it's going to do, it's going to just cause us leaks in the end and then we'll end up taking it apart again. So take your time in this aspect here to get all the old sealant and if they did use tape, get all the old tape off of there and then we'll wipe this down and we'll get her cleaned up. And then we're going to take this after we get it clean, we're going to take it and then we're going to reinstall so you have two ends on this this you don't need sealing on this is a pressure fitting when you turn it in it has a taper and that is going to seat against the gas line for the camper this part here has to have sealant and this is where it goes into the regulator that was leaking so just remember you have an end without a taper that goes into the regulator and with the taper goes into the main supply hose. Okay, now that we have our threads cleaned up, what we're going to do real quick is we're going to look at we're going to look at our regulator you want to make sure that these threads are as clean as possible too. Now, I'm going to use a brush on this. So I'm going to use this little end part of this brush. You can get these brushes on Amazon. I think we got these at Harbor Freight. But when I'm holding it this way, I don't want to go and clean like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this over because I don't want any particles to fall into the regulator. So I'm going to go like this and I'm going to clean it this way. And then if there is anything in the threads, they're going to drop out onto the ground and not go up into the regulator. Okay, so now we're going to take our gas pipe thread sealant. And just going to move it around. We're going to fill the threads. Don't in you don't have don't have to be sparingly on this. You can you know make sure you're using enough to do the job, but don't use so much that the sealant starts going inside of of the chamber. You just want to make sure you're getting a good amount on here and make sure you're filling those threads in. And now when we start this, we're going to start it by hand. So we're going to go ahead and just slowly make sure, because this is brass, so those threads can strip really easily. And then, now, we 
we've got it hand tight as far as we can take it. So what we're going to do now is we're actually want to do this. So you, you're going to want to hold and get a grip onto the body of, of the regulator. And then we'll use the other wrench. You don't want to over crank this, but you definitely want it snug. If you over crank it again, you could strip the threads out. You could crack the body. So, but we're just going to snug it until we start getting a good amount of resistance. And then we're going to stop right there. So at that point, I'll wipe any excess off around the edge just to get it cleaned up. And then... Sure, we got our top here nice and clean. I do see a little bit of debris right there around the top edge from the owner's um, sealant that he tried to put on. So generally when we're doing this, and a little bit on a regulator, so what this regulator does is it takes all the pressure from your LP tanks, your propane tank, or cylinder, your propane cylinders, and it takes all that, that PSI pressure and then it reduces it to 11 inches of water column. So, and that's what your RV needs is that 11 inches of water column so it doesn't damage any of the propane system. So, these do have adjustments on them. We only recommend professionals do that adjustment. We can use a manometer to adjust this and that'll give us our pressure, but we really don't even do that. We leave this up to professionals. These come preset from the manufacturer. So generally we should not have to do anything to this. Um, this is for auto changing over. So this goes tank to tank and it'll let you know which tank you're engaged on. Um, it's a pretty simple device and it is really, like I said, it's an easy install, but the important part is, is checking to make sure you don't have any leaks. So we're at the point now where we're ready to go back and start installing. And again, when we go to install this, we're gonna be using two wrenches. We're gonna put one wrench on to this fitting and then another wrench onto the main gas line fitting. So you wanna make sure you're doing that so you're not over torquing and trying to, and tightening this back up into that body because we're already snug there. So we want to maintain that consistency. So let's go and we'll start putting this back on. Good. 